Alright everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode here on our WWE Smackdown Raw 2007 General Manager Mode. I'm of course Dominic here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. Today, we've got an exciting one here tonight. We are in Miami, Florida. Sadly, we don't have The Rock, so, you know, we can't be awesome. But whatever, we're, we're in Florida. So, crazy stuff's gonna happen, because crazy people live in the state in which I live, which is Florida. Yes. Anyways, uh, I'm still... I still wanna... I'm still annoyed. Shawn Michaels is still annoying me because of that. Like, come on! <laughs> oh, whatever. So I haven't recorded this in like a week or so. So, you know, I guess it's a good time frame, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Shawn Michaels! Still, like the entire time, is bugging me in the back of my head. Like, by the way, Shawn Michaels injured. And I'm just like screaming in my head. I know he's injured! But yeah. So I already made the card and stuff, so we can just... Get right into it. Okay, I'm getting very frustrated because I am doing everything I can to beat Raw, right? And I am beating Raw with a very, with, by a huge margin, by a very big margin. I'm, I'm proud of that. Okay, what I don't like is that for nothing, for no reason, they get stuff like this. They get three and a half star shows. Excellent. Let's go look at Ken, Ken Kennedy versus Mickey James, right? Let's go see their. Um, their things. They have Batista at a hundred. What? They have hundred overall Batista. Okay. Moving on. See, look at this. Mickey James has fifty-seven. Ken Candy has seventy-five. Okay. That's ridiculous. To have a two and a half star match for that. Like, that, that's usually like a two-star match for me. The game is rigging itself against me. And Trish Strat- How is this- How is this a two-and-a-half star? How is that three-and-a-half? <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, we have stuff to do. We're gonna get into the cards right now. Okay. Big Show versus Shelton Benjamin. Apparently, Big Show lives in Miami. Apparently, that's his hometown in the game. Did not know that. Okay, Big Show- Versus Shelton Benjamin, that's going to be the first matchup to get everybody hyped up because it's their it's their man, the Big Show. Um, a submission match between Super Crazy and JBL. An advertisement promo because we need that money. Uh, Fatal 4-Way, because why not? Uh, between Kid Catch, Psychosis, Shovel Girl, and Kane. So, there's a reason this match was kind of made. Um, Kid Catch and Psychosis are in a feud. Kane is a monster, so I thought that'd be cool. But Chavo Guerrero, if we go through... Our other shows, right? If we can go through Chavo Guerrero, that's one win. That's one. Okay. Chavo Guerrero, that's two. Uh, Chavo Guerrero, that's three. Uh, where is it? Where's the next one? Four. That's a four win streak right there. Okay. That's and five. But that's only because I played the match. Okay. So let's stay. Let's still say four for now, only because I played the match, right? Okay. That's four. What else? I don't think he... Was he on the show? I don't see him on the show. Yeah, okay. Well, he wasn't on that show. Whatever. Four. Five. Okay. This is ridiculous. Chavo Guerrero getting all the wins, apparently. Five. He's on... Is he on, is he on the other show? Okay, well... He has, like, a five-win streak. Not counting the match I played. As could cash, of course. That's insane. So, I'm thinking... For SummerSlam... Um, we're gonna have a triple threat for the cruiser weight title because that sounds like it will be fun. So I'm thinking Kid Cash, Psychosis, and Chavo Guerrero triple threat match for the cruiserweight title at SummerSlam, probably in the pre-show most likely. But still, that will be that will be fun. Okay, moving on. A hardcore match between Ray Mysterio and Randy Orton. A merchandise sponsorship because we need that money again. A singles match between John Cena, Triple H, and Edge, and then main event. Because apparently, Giant Nitro and Joe Mercury are good. Nitro and Mercury versus Matt Hardy, Robin Dam, TLC Tag Team Title Match. I know, I do a lot of ladder matches for championship matches. I do realize I do that. Just because it kind of makes the most sense. Because, like, if we have just, like, a ladder match for nothing, it just looks really stupid, in my opinion. Because it's just like, oh, look, there's a title up there for some reason. You know? Whatever. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Let's confirm that. We're going to be playing this we're going to be playing Big Show and Shawn Benjamin, and then we're going to be playing uh, TLC Tornado Tag Team Matchup. I know, John Cena versus John Cena versus Triple H with Edge. 
um, is for that feud, and I know we're not going to be playing that, but you know what? We have seen a lot. We've seen a lot of these guys, really. We've seen a lot of Super Crazy and J... Uh, not really JBL, but Super Crazy. We've seen a lot of Kid Cash lately. We've seen a lot of Randy Orton and Mysterio. A lot of Triple H and Cena and Edge, especially. So we're going to have these two matches, okay? Because why not? So let's get into it. Actually, first off, we're going to simulate the matches. I totally didn't forget to do that. Super Crazy versus JBL. I'm going to pick in JBL to win that. And nope. Whoa, Super Crazy, surprisingly, winning that match. Uh, Fatal 4-Way between Kid Cash, Psychosis, Chavo Guerrero, Kane. Considering Chavo Guerrero is on a winning streak, I'm going to pick Chavo Guerrero. Okay, nah, Psychosis. Psychosis, former champion, gets that win back. I can see that. Uh, Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio in a hardcore singles matchup. I'm going to pick in Rey Rey to win that. Yep, because Rey Rey, Rey Rey wins basically all the matches, which is weird. Cena versus Triple H with Edge. I'm going to pick in Triple H because he has Edge in his corner. John Super Cena. <laughs> Winning all the matches. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Uh, let's get into a big show, Shawn Benjamin, and then we're going to be playing the main event. So let's do this right now. And here we go. He weighs one million pounds. How could you ever defeat the big show? It's the big show. Big show. You get Oh my god. Big show versus Shawn Benjamin. Shawn Benjamin, since he's joined Friday Night Smackdown, has been doing really good. But this is going to be his hardest challenge yet. Will Shelton Benjamin be able to defeat the big man, the big one, the one and only, the big show? I don't know, maybe, potentially. It's the gold standard versus the largest athlete in the world. Oh my god. And Big Show's hometown, of course. Because, you know, fighting on your home turf means you have all of the power. I guess? I never got that. I never got why it mattered, but whatever. Anyways, uh, Big Show. I guess since Big Show knows the land, he knows the ring better in his hometown than he knows it in another town. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh god, what's a rope? Where's the where's the turnbuckle? <laughs> Whatever. Big Show, Shelton Benjamin. Big Show just kind of uh, not Big Show. Shelton just kind of standing there weirdly, but okay. Why not? Like I said, I haven't played this in a few little bits. So, well, Big Show gonna go for the cover already, and no. Okay, he kicks out at one there. Goes to pick him up. Shelton Benjamin punch right in the nads. Referee, you watch that. Okay, that's a low blow. To the big show. I guess Shelton Benjamin just gets a pass on that. Whatever. Fine. Okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. But Big Show doesn't even care after. He gets punched in the nads. He just doesn't care. He just does not care. Okay. He's telling everybody to shut up. Ooh. That was loud. That was a loud chop. And then a big knee to the face. Good lord. You didn't need to do that. But okay. That was like crushing his skull with his knee, man. Gosh dang. Big Show was ruthless here in this matchup. And Chavo Guerrero, not Chavo Guerrero, Shelton Benjamin trying to fight back. But I don't think he can. Because how could you ever defeat the Big Show? Okay? We have asked this multiple times in the series. The joke has gotten very old. And now, oh, another chop for good measure. But how could you ever defeat the Big Show? I don't think anybody is going to be able to answer that question. As he is just beating the crap out of Shelton Benjamin right now. And now look at this. Hulk Hogan. Okay. Big Show, ladies and gentlemen. The new Hulk Hogan. Okay, say your vitamins and eat other people. That's what Big Show says. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, Big Show, look at this. Boom, right in the stomach. I like it. Oh, what? No, what? No, wait, wait, Big Show. Big Show. Oh, shoot. No, no, that's not what he wanted. No. I mean, that's all the Big Show wanted. Oh, no. Anyways, poke in the eye by the Big Show. Okay. And now look at this. Big Show, ladies and gentlemen, leaving the ring. Taking full advantage of this, going back into the ring. I don't know what he's doing, but he's being annoying. Big Show. Oh, God, no. He's about to grab the bell, but the referee gets up just in the nick of time. He just threw the referee across the ring. <laughs> okay. Sure. Why not? As Big Show, ladies and gentlemen, the referee's just getting up into the choke slam. Goes Shelton Benjamin, and he's got him. He's got to be dead, Magal. He's got to be dead. One, two, three. Big Show defeating Shelton Benjamin in his hometown of Miami, Bro Red, Bro Red, Red. <laughs> Whatever. I live in Florida's. It is garbage. I will agree to that. Whatever. Big Show defeating Shelton Benjamin here. In his hometown 
as now we have to move on to the main event in Big Show's hometown for the Tag Team Champions of the World ELC matchup. Who's going to be walking away uh, with that one? We're going to find that out right now. And here we go. Will this be version one of a kind last night as our SmackDown WWE Tag Team Champions? Or will they be able to successfully go home with the gold here tonight? Matt Hardy, Rob Van Dam, probably one of their biggest challenges yet as a tag team, okay? Although they had JBL versus Gregory Helms to, I think, this day is the longest reigning tag team champions in our SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 GM mode. Awesome. By the way, um, while we're doing this, uh, since you guys seem to be really liking the Smack the GM mode, okay, and I like it, I was thinking what I'm going to do after this series is start 2008 GM mode or 2006 GM mode. Um, that's just kind of what I had in mind because I thought that would be, that would be a fun time considering you guys like this. Maybe you'll like it there, or maybe we do some sort of really cool mode kind of thing with 2K18. I don't know. I really don't know. But that was just always what I thought was going to happen, and that's what I'm just telling you guys now. So that, you know, if you guys really like it, okay, hit the like button down below. No, you don't have to do that. I don't really care. I'll probably still do it anyways. Um, I'm just saying, that's what, that's that you guys seem to be enjoying it. Maybe we'll both, we'll all enjoy, um, a another series like a series two on 2008 maybe i guess i don't know the reason i didn't play 2008 first is because um because i knew i could cheat super easily and i know if i have that ability i'll probably use it okay because to be honest you can kind of just cheat in that game with the two with uh the gm mode which is really annoying i don't necessarily like that so, I don't know, maybe I'll do that, I'm not entirely sure, or, I, I guess, I, I was thinking maybe 2006 GM mode, but no one seems to really watch that, or no one seems to really record that anyways, so I don't know, maybe that means more people want it because no one else does it, I guess, I don't know, so I want to ask you guys, would you guys rather see 2008 GM mode or 2006 GM mode, um, uh, when we end this one, as freaking Johnny Nitro super kicks him already, Okay, look at this. Matt Hardy and Johnny Nitro up at the top. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. No, 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 no. JBL. Oh! Not JBL. Why did I say JBL? Why do I keep talking about JBL and Chavo Guerrero today? I don't understand. Anyways, kicking the nads there. Especially since I think JBL and... Uh, don't they have a match? Or was that JBL and someone else? I can't remember. And now... <laughs> I'm just not... <laughs> Chavo Guerrero. Not Chavo. Not Chavo Guerrero. God dang. Okay. John Johnny Nitro and just... Joey Mercury just keeps switching spots when it comes to the ladder. And oh, he falls to the ground hard. Does Matt Hardy. That's now Nitro and, not Nitro, Mercury and Matt Hardy up at the top of the freaking ladder. Fighting now. Uh, Nitro won't get up though. He's being annoying. Okay, there we go. And now Nitro. Look at this. Not too sure what he has in mind. Boom! Takes down Matt Hardy. Is Matt Hardy? Ow. <laughs> Okay, why not? Sure, let's do it. Why not? And then, oh, Rob Van Dam hitting Johnny, not Johnny Nitro, Joey Mercury with the ladder while he's on the table. Like, come on, man. Okay, boom! Right with the face there. Right with the face? Yeah, he hit him with his face. <laughs> Whatever. Rob Van Dam has control of the ladder. No, he doesn't. Now it's all Johnny Nitro. Because now, what is this? Ooh, leg dropped on to Rob Van Dam on the ladder. Oh, God, what is this now? Oh, oh! Oh, that was cool! I did, like, a little, a little front flip thing. It looked like a little swanton leg drop onto a ladder. That looked pretty radical. Whatever. Anyways. Okay. And now Johnny Nitro and Matt Hardy battling it out on the top of the ladder. Now they're not. And now, oh, falls hard onto... Mr. Nitro there. I don't remember if this is supposed to be won by pinfalls and submissions or by climbing the ladder. But since no one's trying to go for pinfalls and submission, Rob Van Dam going up to the ladder. I guess that's the way to do it, I guess? I don't know. Using the ladder? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, because sometimes these old games are really weird like that. And they just choose whenever. And now, RVD. RVD and Joey Mercury fighting on top. Johnny Nitro and Matt Hardy fighting in the corner with the table. Now look at that. 
Oh! Missing does RVD. RVD, that looked terrible. You had a 5 star and everything. You could have been really cool. Into like a 5 star to the outside. Or onto Mercury, but I guess not. I guess you just didn't have that in you. Okay? I guess you just were not wanting to do that. Whatever. RVD going up to the top. And now look at this. Oh, missing the Moonsault, though. Because now, come on. RVD. Wait, what? RVD just teleported onto the top of the onto the top of the thing. Why he just teleport for no reason? Anyways, and now Joy Mercury missing. The what is going on? RVD freaking teleporting to the top of the ladder, and Joy Mercury missing a table like a genius, man. And now what's RVD thinking? Oh God, is he thinking going to the outside? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, oh, missing. The ta Why is everybody missing the table? I don't quite understand. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, and now look at this, Joey Mercury. Everybody's trying to like jump on. There we go. Everybody was trying to like break the table with Matt Hardy. I don't know why. Like, even, I'm pretty sure even RVD was doing it earlier. It was really weird. <laughs> Whatever. Is it a pinfall situation? Yeah, it is a pinfall. That's really lame. That you have to pin them. Whatever. And RVD kicking out of Johnny Nitro's finish finishing maneuver, the super kick. And now, oh, and he hits it a second time there on. The one, no, go for the, no, god dang it, Nitro, why did you do that? And oh god, oh, 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 right under the ring, taking RVD outside the ring, okay, for some reason, which is really weird, whatever. Matt Hardy has a finisher, and now he hits it on Johnny Nitro, Mercury is down, so is Nitro, are we gonna see the retaining tag team champions? Oh, and we do, Johnny Nitro and Joey Mercury not able to get the Tag Team Champions. God dang it, I actually wanted to see new Tag Team Champions. Like, I love version one of a kind, but like, I don't know, it felt like Mercury's time to shine. It felt like Mercury is finally going to get his due after losing all those matches for the Tag Team Champions, I guess. Well, that was disappointing, because I was really hoping that we would have new Tag Team Champions, not going to lie. Not gonna lie, I was actually kind of hoping for new tag team champions, considering we like... What? Did we have a new tag team champion last week? Yeah, we did. We had um, the new Cruiserweight title. But like, it felt like none of them really changed, because it was just the Cruiserweight title. No one really cares about the Cruiserweight title. It's like the woman's title, no one cares. <laughs> oh, don't think of me as sexist. Come on. It's 2007 WWE. Or 2006? Whatever. And we have a new women's champion on Raw. Great. Speaking of Raw, 80,000? Are you joshing me? Are you joshing me? Edge can't buy a match. Oh, okay, so Edge has to win next week. But are you joshing me? Email. Anybody dead? A no-show. Oh, yeah, because they want me to use Velocity a lot. Right, forgot about that. But are you Josh and... What? What? These are all really good matches. Or at least really decent matches. Why is that a two and a half star show? This game is really stupid. Okay, let's actually count out the stars right now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a pencil. Okay, I have a pencil right here. Okay, I need a... I need a little paper thing. I guess this works for now. Okay. It's two and a half plus two and a half equals five. Okay, five plus, and then it's two and a half. Okay, so we're going to go half. That's four. And then plus two, that equals six. So that equals 11. So then 11 plus four equals 15. Six, seven, 18. That's 18 stars in total. Okay? 18 stars. For raw. Two and a half plus two and a half, that equals five. Five plus... Okay, so 3, 3 equals 6, uh, so 7, 5 plus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that equals 12, 12 plus 4 equals 16. I got way more stars than that. I got two more stars that should have gotten me the freaking show. Unless there was, yeah, there was not even a heat match. They didn't even have a first match. Why am I getting the emails about no shows when they don't even have a first matchup? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely mind-bogglingly ridiculous. 
Okay, I am... I am very frustrated right now. <laughs> okay. I 100% have... Shell Mansion, what do you want? You've been losing. Good for you. Unsatisfied. Why are you? It's been a while since you had some gold. It's been a while since you showed up. Um, Edge, you need you need a win, actually. I do need to give you that win. Okay, that will be next week's episode of this show. It's been a while since you had gold. Triple H, you know what? You can shut up. You don't even have a feud right now. Um, I have a pretty decent roster, though. Like... Oh, John Cena's a 93. I can't believe Batista's a 100 still. That's ridiculous to me. I really want to start selling some guys. sort of. Like, not selling guys, but like... Like, I need everybody, but at the same time, they're all so low in popularity. I wonder if I bought back Carlito. Because Carlito's just kind of been hanging above me. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Next episode. The return on Carlito. But then one of these guys has to get fired for that. And I don't know who it's going to be. So we'll check that out in the next episode as well. So yeah. A lot of... Next episode is going to be a big episode. It's going to be the go home to freaking Summer Slam. So that's going to be lovely. So yeah. Um, that's going to be the end of this episode here on RW Smack to Raw 2007 General Manager Mode. If you liked it, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything I do here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. Not just GM Mode. We got some Super COD. We got some other, some All-Stars. Yeah. Awesome. It's a fun time here on the channel currently. It's great. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's going to, we hope you have a good day. A good day, of course, from bad wrestling. Get it? You see what I did there? Because it's good and bad and it's polar opposite. Taha, so funny. <laughs> Bye-bye! Yo!